y'all say y'all peace and palisanto sticks it's your girl the valley lika welcome to our channel so y'all see the three crystals so y'all know what time it is it is a pick a card but this pick a card is going to be different than the other pick a cards that i did before because this one is not going to be a new communication this one is kind of a freestyle pick a card so i basically have asked spirit to give me the intuitive nudge of what each group needs to hear the most. So if I'm pushed towards love, it'll be love. If I'm pushed towards personal, it'll be personal. If I'm pushed towards whichever one of these several decks that I have, that's what we're going to do. But that's how we're going to do it. So starting off with group number one, we have this Smoky Quartz. Smoky Quartz. Okay. And then for group number two, we have this Clear Quartz. And for group three, we have citrine, okay? So you can make your selection based off whichever number uh, number or crystal that you're drawn to, and then we're just gonna go ahead and get started. And five, four, three, two. Okay, group number one. So I paused in between, <laughs> um, you know, putting all the other crystals to the side and Crazy, I got the intuitive nudge to pull from this deck. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've used this deck of cards. As you can see, it's all bent in the middle. These are like one of my first purchased decks of cards. Um, they have been through the freaking ringer, but this is what I was guided to pull from. So these are my love and romance oracle cards. So we're going to pull from this deck and see what it is that spirit wants you to know. And what's going on in love, because these are love cards, so... All right, divine spirit gods, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for group number one. Those who chose the smoky cords. What is it that they have going on in love? What is it that they, that they need to hear at this time in regards to their love life? Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Any dark magic or evil I've been sent my way or to the way of my collective family, please just return it back to sender magnified and bond it to them. Open up my third eye chakra so I can dive deeper into my intuition to get further clarification of the cards that come out today. And please just protect my crown chakra as well, spirit. Thank you so much for everything that you always do for me. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. So let's see what's going on, y'all. I mean, these things are so bent up that I can't even shuffle them this way. Like, I have to shuffle them from the side because they're just too bent or no matter of fact what i was doing i think the last time i touched this deck is i was shuffling them this way so let me do it <laughs> let me do it like this yeah these things are so bent up but i'm so curious to see what comes out i don't know why uh this is what spirit led me to but this is what spirit led me to so let's just see what's going on All right, Spirit. Clear and accurate messages for group number one. Clear and accurate messages for group number one. What's going on in love? What do they need to hear in regards to their love life? Please just understand all of my um, readings are time, time fluid. <laughs> so it may apply to past, present, or future. All right, and flip and switch the roles. They apply to your situation. And please understand that I can also be talking about somebody who is in your energy, knowingly or unknowingly. So just use your discernment and take what fits your situation and leave the rest. All right, Spirit, give me something for group number one. Oh, all right, here we go. It says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so maybe you're like um, in a phase of your life where maybe you're not actually dealing with somebody, but spirit is saying to make the decision of maybe what type of counterpart that you're actually looking for so that you can manifest it because there's something, oh my God. Wow, bro. That's never happened. There's clearly something on the horizon. The enemy must be working. That was scary. That scared the shit out of me, y'all. Hold on. Let me pause. You see that wax on me? Oh my God. Hold on. Yeah, y'all. This is, this, this happens. <laughs> readers go through stuff pray for us hold on <laughs> hey group one i'm back um obviously i paused it so y'all don't know how long i've been gone but it's been 45 minutes <laughs> um a lot of wax got on several decks of my cards 
and um, where I first was telling myself maybe I should just do a whole different reading from the top. I'm like, no, because I kind of want people to see this, um, to understand what certain readers go through and how the enemy will work in certain ways. And to me, don't trust me. I'm not like rattled to where like, oh my God, I don't want to do a reading. Because that's kind of what they want to do. Like kind of make, discourage you from doing stuff or to try to throw off your message. So that's honestly just, when shit like this happens, I just feel like there's something that was really supposed to get across to somebody today. Um, something somebody really wanted to hear. And there may be somebody in your somebody in your energy um or the enemy that doesn't want you to get a message so and what better way to do that because you know for me when I do my readings I take flyers so I go through my decks like this and I wait to see what flies out what better way to make it absolutely difficult for you to get a message if all of your cards are sticky with fucking wax so I did clean them. I feel like they're still, you know, nice and smooth. So we're good there. But um, yeah, that was a little bit of a hiccup. And I ain't about to let it deter me. But I definitely was just like, oh, there must be something that the enemy don't want me to get across. Whether it be your enemy or my enemy. Um, something There's something that somebody doesn't want to come out of this reading today. Or something that somebody doesn't. Um, something that the enemy doesn't want the collective to hear. Rather this be for you, group one, group two, group three, I don't know. Because it got on a couple of different decks of my cards. It didn't get on this deck, the one I'm actually using. But there's a lot of wax um, <laughs> in my area. I haven't even got it all up, up off, all off the floor yet. But I got hardwood, so I ain't too worried about it. Um, but yeah, I'm like, you know what? Let's not do a new reading. Let's actually let you see this. And, you know, just pray for your readers. We do go, you know, we deal with spiritual attack. We're channeling messages. We're channeling all types of foreign energy into our homes. And, you know, we choose to do this because we have one, we have a particular mission and calling, but we want to show up. And I genuinely love doing this. It makes my soul feel good. It makes me feel good. And I know I'm standing in my purpose, but there are things that come with this. So, you know, be great. You know, sh you know, just be, be kind. Send us positive energy. We be needing it. Trust me, we need it. Um... Because this is what we do. We welcome energy into our home. And honestly, this is just a lighter side. Like y'all seen a candle fall and get some of my, get wax on certain places in my house. But I've had times where I about got ready to channel and um, my whole 60 inch flat screen fell over one day. And it's completely broken. So that like broke my little heart. But yeah, these things happen. Um, You know, when you're doing divination work and you're trying to get really detrimental messages across to people for me i do i like to do love readings because that's what people are very interested in but i am really big on self-development because i feel like you know it, everything starts with self you can't be a great partner or even have a good good love life if you're not right within yourself so i really that is more what i like to push on my channel like i said i'll tap into love because I mean, I love love and everybody loves love too. So, you know, that'll draw people to my channel. But overall, I like to, I'm really big on personal messages. So yeah, sometimes the enemy will try to, you know, come in the way of letting us hear things that we need to hear or even just try to discourage us as readers because I'm a person, well, at least in the past, I can, you know, the smallest a hiccup in my day and I'm like, fuck it, I'm not doing something that I may have planned to do. So, you know, the enemy has tried to work in those ways too, but I don't want to ramble too much. I want to get back to the card that we pulled, which was very soon and very soon. Um, so it's saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I do feel like if you're someone who is waiting um, for a type of love interest to come in, spirit is just saying, please be very clear and specific of what it is that you're looking for. Like, and go even as far as how do you want to feel? How do you want this person to make you feel? You know, as well, clearly decide on this now. So that you're not attracting maybe somebody that is not um 
that isn't a good counterpart for you. You understand? So yeah, let's clearly decide on what it is that we want. Matter of fact, I do want to shuffle these cards again just because, yeah, I want to shuffle them one more time, y'all. Just because of all that shit that happened. That actually scared me because I'm like, what the hell? If it, it almost seemed like somebody came and pushed my candle over. And then it would be like the biggest candle. Like I have a couple of different candles lit, but literally the biggest candle that I had fell over. So it was like a whole wax fucking explosion. Um, but not on the deck that I'm using. So that's dope. All right, so let's see what's going on. We have very soon. Hold up, let me split. Let me split. Let me split before I knock. Um, Spirit, please just um, drive away any unwanted energy that's not welcome here in our space right now. Any dark energy, um, dark forces, entities that try to creep their way into my auric field or into my home. I pray, um, I ask that you just send it out the window. I decided to open my windows. I was saging earlier, y'all, but I didn't have my windows open. So sometimes... You know, you can sage your house and you ain't got your windows open. You ain't doing nothing but just making the making the the, the the dark energy run around. You ain't really sending them out the crib. So I had to go open my window so it got somewhere to go. But, yes, yeah, Spirit, please just drive out this dark energy, any dark energy that is not welcome in this reading or anything that is trying to interfere with me getting the message across to the collective. Please just um drive it out of my, drive it out of my home kill it whatever 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 <laughs> all right ashe all right let's see what else is going on what's going on for group number one i'm so sorry y'all that i had to give y'all that hiccup but it just kind of means that something um something is there's something really powerful that's supposed to come out of this reading so please just stay tuned all right spirit tell me more for group number one those who chose the smoky quartz Tell me more for group number one. New love. I felt it. Okay, so yeah, there is something new coming in. It says new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings okay so either this person is coming or is either making it's is already in your energetic field or is making their way into your energetic field i feel like this person isn't quite there yet um which is why spirit wants you to decide to decide on what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you you want so that you're attracting the right type of energy and you know somebody that is best suited for you okay so we got new love. Tell me more spirit for group number one. More for group number one. Mm, that's too many, but I'll still take. Well, this two. I'll take it. I'll take these two. So it says chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Oh, I love it. And then we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So group number one, you have something really beautiful in store like someone that you have a lot of chemistry with there's gonna be a lot of passion i'm hearing love making Ew, i like that i like that summer i'm just hearing vacation it's giving vacation okay <laughs> okay group one anything else spirit uh, i'm being um called to go to another deck one more card and then another another deck I'm just freestyle here. Give me more spirit for group number one. More for group number one spirit. Oh, there I go. Say one more card. And there it is. And we have trust. This situation is calling. This this situation is calling for you to have faith. So, oh. Oh, and another card came. It says, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. If you're somebody who is still attached, I'm hearing attached. If you're someone who's still attached to a past person, spirit is saying to release them, to release them. Because understand that we can, sometimes we can leave people alone physically, but energetically, we're very much so still connected to that person and that timeline. Spirit is saying to disconnect from that, free yourself from that. 
Right. And I'm feeling like whatever this trust is, you may have a hard time trusting this new connection that's coming in because um, maybe because maybe a past experience. Um, Spirit is saying that, you know, you need to clear your energetic field, um, wipe that slate clean and understand that so that when this new love comes in, you're 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 getting what it is that you want. Like you don't want to. And I think this is why spirit is saying to. Um, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, if you're somebody who, oh, okay, let me put it like this. So sometimes we can be in these really bad relationships, right? And our whole thing is like, we, it can, sometimes it can mess up our perception of love. I like, I, it's not uncommon for somebody like, you know, and to, to leave a relationship. Maybe you were cheated on. Maybe somebody, um, you know, just did something to wrong you or betray you in some type of way. And then you leave this relationship with, you know, all men ain't ish or all women ain't ish. You know, you attract that. You will attract, like, if, if that's the energy that you're putting out, like, now because of what happened with this past person, your whole perception is that people people ain't to be trusted. You can't trust nobody. And these, and these dudes ain't ish. And these women ain't ish. Then you're going to actually attract that. So Spirit is saying to clearly decide what it is that you want. Don't don't focus on what it is that you, that you don't want because it's just like, Everything is energy. So if you're putting out the energy that, okay, because of what this one person did, this is my perception and this is what I feel like I'm going to get more of, then that's exactly what you're going to get more of. So spirit is saying to heal whatever old wounds that's attached to whatever past situations that you were in. And then, you know, just clearly decide what is it that you're looking for? You, If I'm looking for someone who's loving and compassionate, who's honest, who who loves themselves, that's, I'm, I'm hearing to... Be very specific in, in in calling in somebody who loves themselves. Because I genuinely feel like when you, um, if you're with somebody who doesn't love themselves, then they're going to do things to try to fill the void of not loving themselves. Where it may seem like you coming into their life in the beginning may make them happy. And it may make them feel good for a while. The thing is, if they're not happy within themselves, it's only going to satisfy them temporarily. And at some point, they're going to need more to feel good about themselves. And there's no, like, I don't care how good of a woman you are, how great of a man you are. If you're with somebody who doesn't love themselves and doesn't know how to love themselves, they really won't be able to, to, to love you or they won't really be able to be 100% um, like content or satisfied with just you because they're not satisfied with themselves. So when you're calling on this person, make sure that just make sure you're you're adding that in there amongst whatever else you want to add. But please add that you attract somebody who loves themselves because that's so important for somebody to be able to love you that they love them their own self. OK, so that's what I'm getting for that. All right. Let's see, because this is freestyle. -y. And I just don't know what else I want to pull. Spirit just said this. I'm going to pull from this. I don't know why these, but whatever. So um, that's what's going on in love. That was the advice for love. And I just want to like close out with something personal. Because like I said, I'm real big on personal development, y'all. This is what makes us good for any relationship. Um, so yeah, let's touch on this. Divine spirit, gods, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for group number one. What is it that they need to hear the most right now? What is it that their divine spirit gods want them to hear the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Any dark or unwanted energy, please just send it out the window. Thank you so much, spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. I'm going to take it. Make the most of it. Make use of your time and all resources. And all resources. Look for more knowledge or appliance. Learn from the mistakes and also from others to build up more skills and confidence. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. I didn't even get to split the deck, but I feel like that was meant to come out. So I just wanted to take it. Okay, 
there's a lot that spirit wants to say out of this more for group number one spirit what is it that they need to hear the most at this time what is it that they need to hear the most at this time learn from the past i knew it okay yeah okay learn from the past all all of the success and failures or and failures are supposed to come to your life and give you precious lessons they don't come to knock you down but sure will make you much stronger and wiser with time so yeah spirit just wants you to understand that whatever has transpired regardless if this is love or you know maybe something else that all of this was for a purpose for you to to build strength character um um i'm hearing to I'm hearing self-confidence. I'm hearing standing your power. Right. And they want you to make the most of it. Make the most of these lessons that you've learned. Learn from the past, but don't be stuck to the past. Free yourself from that. Yeah, it's like learn from the past and then free yourself from it. Understand why this, why certain people came into your life, why certain relationships had to happen, what what it was supposed to show you, and then free yourself from it. Don't be stuck in, in, in you know, don't hold on. What is it, crying over spilled milk? Let's not do that. Understand why we why we met certain people, why we came into certain situations, what they were, what it was supposed to do to teach us. And, and, and help us persevere and build character. And then, you know, you take those lessons and you move forward. Tell me more, Spirit, for group number one. Hey, Papa. I ain't, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not taking it because I feel like it didn't fly out. I dropped it. Tell me more, Spirit, for group number one. right i like to do that take action no more procrastinating because you are well planned no no more procrastinating because you are well planned well prepared and therefore ready to make a move for now right so spirit is saying learn from the past and then take action for future events for what you want to do moving forward is what i'm hearing okay Tell me more, Sarah. Anything else for group number one? Anything else for group number one, Spirit? <laughs> Damn, y'all. This came out again. It was supposed to come out last time. Even remember I said I dropped it? No, it was supposed to come out because it just came out twice. It says break the rules. It's okay to break break rules. This time, only you know how to work things out effectively. As long as it doesn't hurt. Allow yourself to go beyond your limits. Oh, and of course, life is short. You might miss the fun if you don't. Free yourself. Break the rules and, breathe and free yourself. It's just giving me that same vibe. And then it's funny because it says free yourself and it's like a some type of what I don't know. Y'all don't know my animals. What the hell is that? So what's the thing? Okay, the unicorn. It looks like a unicorn. And I'm only saying that because it just has one straight little horn thing from its head, but it's in a cage. It's in a cage. So I'm hearing, when I'm hearing free yourself, it's like, I'm not even thinking like physical. I'm thinking so much of like, almost like a mental imprisonment um, or um, like a conditioning. You've been doing things a certain way for so long and spirit is saying, it's time for you to break those rules. It's time for you to break down these barriers and these, in these, um, this, like this, this, in this, almost like this prison that you, this, this gate that you've built around yourself. 
It's time to do things a little bit different. We're learning from the past and we're shaking shit up. We're taking action. We're breaking rules where we're, we're freeing ourselves from rather that be past hurts, past traumas, past conditioning, past um, routines. It's time to switch things up. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. So we're making the most of things that have taken place. We're learning from the past. We're taking actions. We're breaking the rules. We're freeing ourselves from past conditioning, past thinking, past routines. So that we can actually make the mom here and make the most of this human experience that we're having. We're all we're all souls having a human experience. And spirit is saying that maybe you're not living, you're not living yours to your fullest potential based off of just maybe a comfort zone. Or yeah, I'm hearing comfort zone. Yeah. So it's time to shake things up and do things a little bit different. But all in all, you have a very beautiful love connection coming in. So clearly decide on what it is that you're looking for. What is it that you want to feel? Um, what type of characteristics that you're looking for in a person? Like I said, make sure that you, you be specific on what it is that you're asking for. Because sometimes we're not specific enough and spirit will be like, okay, cool. <laughs> and it'll just give you whatever. But if you're somebody who is you know, holding on to any ill feelings or maybe um, a, spe a, a specific love, uh, love or relationship that didn't work out has changed your perception of love. Understand that you can attract that type of energy. If it's, you can attract that type of energy by feeling like that's all you're going to get. So be specific on what it is that you're looking for. We're not focusing on what we don't want. We're going to focus on what it is that we do want. And that's how we're going to draw in and call in what is best suited for us. So group number two, this has been your reading. I hope that it resonates. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate it. But until next time, peace out. What it do, group two? <laughs> Those who chose this clear quartz, we about to get into it. Okay. I had some hit. Hold up, y'all, because you know what? Spirit been working today. The enemy been working today. <laughs> enemy been working today. Group one, y'all. When I tell y'all my whole freaking candle, my whole candle flipped over. It got wax on like three different decks all over my floor. Um. Give me a second, y'all. God damn it. Spirit is working. The enemy's working. I'll say that. I feel like, um, <laughs> I feel like there was a message that's really supposed to come out because of the the hiccups that happened in the beginning. But like I was saying, um, my whole candle like flipped over. It got wax of like all over my decks. And anybody who's familiar with my channel, I take flyers. So how hard would it be to like, you know, get cards to fly out if there's wax all stuck to them? So I feel like there was a, um, a very important message that's supposed to come out for somebody today. I don't know if it was for group one or if it's just for every, well, I'm, let me just be honest. There's always an important message that needs to come out, but I feel like certain things will happen where the enemy will try to discourage me from getting messages across, but you know, just pray for your readers, y'all, because one thing I will say when we're channeling certain energy or we're trying to get messages across to the collective, you know, we we are under spiritual attack sometimes. You know, we're calling foreign energy into our homes, around ourselves, our loved ones. I have a child. So, you know, there's a lot that we do to show up. And now, mind you, I'm not making no excuses because I've chose this. This is the path I chose for myself, and I love it. Um, personally, my cat is about to try it. Hold on. Let me let Poppy out, y'all. Because Poppy's about to do it. One of several cats in this house right now. Sometimes your own cat be the enemy trying to interrupt your reading. <laughs> or interrupt your message. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, y'all. So, I love this. I'll say that much. But I, de I definitely was like, damn, the enemy tried the knocked me off my little pivot and I was a little bit pissed off because honestly I this it happened for group one but I had to pause 
I had to pause the, you know, pause the video. It took me 45 minutes to clean all this, um, to clean all my cards off. And it's not even all clean. I still got wax all over my floor and stuff that I need to get up. But I got hardwood, so I ain't tripping too much. But anywho, let's get into it. See what it is that Spirit wants us to know. Um, for some reason, I was guided to pull from my handwritten oracle cards. So let's just see what comes out. What Spirit wants us to know. This is a freestyle. I didn't. Um, this was a little bit different than any of the um, any of the other pick of cards that I've done, which have been no communication. I basically just asked Spirit. Um, you know what each group needs to hear the most. And, you know, if I was guided to pull from a love deck, then I pull from a love deck. If I'm guided to pull from a different deck, then I pull from a different deck. So everybody got a little bit of different of something in this uh, this reading today. This is one of the decks that got wax on it. So excuse my shuffling, y'all. All right. Divine spirit gods, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for group number two. What is it that they need to hear the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's going on for group number two. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Play with me. Yeah, the enemy was trying, y'all, but I'm like, not today. Shit, I already ain't did a reading in the last couple of days. Like I took some days off because I just I didn't started a new little job and um I've been trying to balance. I balance. I ain't been doing the best I balance and stuff, but I gotta show up, make sure I'm showing up for y'all. And when I don't, I be feeling like shit about it. <laughs> I really do. So here I am. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay. It's a mixture of a lot of stuff in here. So let's just see what comes out. Curious. All right, clear and accurate messages for the collective. For group number two, those who chose the clear chords, what is it that they need to hear the most at this time? So two came out. I heard dark. we have dark magic and then we have she's not to be trusted. Okay. dark magic and she's not to be trusted so there may be a feminine in your energy that may be doing some type of dark magic and um understand dark magic doesn't have to be like somebody is sitting over like ceremony cere ceremonial like under the moon like and don't get me wrong this ain't far-fetched because there's actually people that really get that deep into witchcraft but it can be just somebody who um you know, because, you know, words are spells. So it can be somebody that has very negative things to say about you. And because of that, that's a form of dark magic. Like, oh, I don't want to see this mother effort do this or do that. And I hope that they they fail. I hope they that they, they don't that whatever it is that they work towards fails. I hope everybody looks at them like they're they're uh that like they ain't shit like that's that that's form of dark magic just because. You know, words or spells, even our intentions, the things that we think think about people can be a form of dark magic. But I don't know why I keep hearing food. So if there's a person that intuitively you feel like you can't fucking trust, Spirit is saying do not eat their food. Because somebody can just have ill intentions or have bad, like, like sometimes when people get food poisoning, it's not because like, the food wasn't prepared all the way or something like that. Somebody can just have really f a fucked up, badass energy that they're carrying and they're preparing your food and then they're giving it to you. Energy transfers. It doesn't die. So it can be that like that. Sometimes you're sick because of that. It ain't because the food wasn't prepared right or somebody can clean a meat or cook it all the way. Sometimes just somebody with a really nasty fucking spirit cooked your food. And then you ate it. Um, but yeah, I'm hearing feminine. Um, I, I, I also also I have to just mention mention that 
All of my readings are timeless, so this can apply to past, present, or future. I can also be, I can be talking about you, or I can be talking about somebody who's in your energy, knowingly or unknowingly. So just flip and switch the roles they apply to your situation and take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. All right, let's see what else for group number two. Tell me more for group two, spirit. Third party interference. It was my fault, but I blame you. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, hold up. Let me let me um process this real quick. So I'm hearing if there is a masculine, like if I'm talking to a feminine, right? This is this is a storyline that I'm getting right now. If I'm talking to a feminine who, and no, this can be feminine or masculine. Um, but if I'm talking to someone who you were in a relationship with somebody, right? And maybe a third, there was a third party interference, meaning there was an outside person that was brought into your love connection. And maybe this person went off with this other person. Um, this person, one, is not for your person to trust. If your person had decided to, if there was some type of third party interference and maybe you decided, you know what, that's what you want to do. Y'all had that good riddance. This person is not to be trusted. And she is doing some type of dark magic on your person. Or I'm hearing the interference or if there's some type of delay, like if you're expecting to get back with your person. Now, now, first and foremost, now let's not just put this all on the on the third party. That's definitely doing some type of dark magic. Because this this somebody is admitting your person or somebody is admitting that it was their fault, but they blamed you. So maybe something happened. Maybe something happened. There was some type of disagreement or something. And somebody maybe like blew it out of proportion. Like, oh, fuck it. Well, I'm just going to go over here and do X, Y, Z with this person. And they made it like, well, you're the reason why I decided to go be with her or, or be with him. This was your fault, but deep down inside, they know it's their fault, and but they blamed you. Now they're dealing with a third party that can't be trusted and, and is doing some type of dark magic. Oh, shit. Did I fuck up the deck? I probably did. Let me see. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yin yang and twin flame flip, flipped over. Oh, interesting. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Let's see if that comes out, though. <laughs> All right. Tell me more spirit for group number two. Y'all's got deep. Explore options. So I'm hearing um, you need to be exploring your options. If you're somebody who is waiting for your person while they're dealing with this third party, they got a lot going on. There's a lot going on with your person right now. So spirit is saying to explore your options. If you are somebody who feels like you're safe in space or waiting for your person to see if they're going to come back around, spirit is saying to explore your options. Do not sit here and wait for this person to complete a cycle. I'm hearing this, this is some type of karmic cycle that maybe needs to be completed. And spirit is saying not to wait for your person, not to wait for them. Explore your options, love on yourself, see what else is out there in the meantime. Past life relationship. So this can be somebody that you have a past life relationship with. Okay. Ooh. All right. This is getting interesting. Tell me more, Spirit. My deck is good. I did make a good deck, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold y'all. This is a good little deck. I'm just saying. We got blocked heart chakra. Okay. So this can be you. I'm hearing this can be you or your person or maybe the both of you. Maybe because what has happened to you with this person, you have a blocked heart chakra right now. Or maybe because of whatever dark magic that's being done to your person through this third party. I'm hearing, oof, 
I'm hearing this person is eating this person's food and this bitch or this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting the feminine energy, y'all. That's just what I mean. It says she's not to be trusted. So I'm getting a feminine energy. There is a feminine that is doing something to somebody's fucking food. I'm hearing don't eat the red sauce. Like, baby, please, whatever you do, don't eat the red sauce. <laughs> okay. Because somebody is fucking doing something. Something. I'm just getting that feeling. Mm. And maybe. Because of whatever dark magic that's happening. Your person. I feel like group two. You may be waiting for your person. Maybe you're aware that you actually do have some type of past life relationship. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're like. You're holding on to this person because you just love. Obviously when you have a past life relationship with somebody. It is a different love. Than you may have felt for any other partner that you've had. So maybe you could have had a third party interference with a, with, the, with the next person. And it might not have hurt you as bad. Or, or you may not have held space for the past person, but you are for this person because of the connection, because of the, the connection and the chemistry that you share with them being to the, being the fact that you have a past life relationship with them. But what's, what's going on right now, because of whatever dark magic is being done, this person has a block, has a block heart shocker. So if you're sitting there and you're waiting for them to come back around or waiting for, you probably intuitively know that this third party ain't shit and she's not to be trusted. And eventually maybe this will be revealed to my person. Spirit is saying right now their heart chakra is blocked. There is some type of dark magic is, that's going on. I'm hearing there's a karmic cycle that needs to be completed with this third party. And spirit does not want you to hold up, hold yourself up waiting for this person to come around. If it's meant to be, it's going to be, period. But right now you need to explore your options. Spirit is saying to not get so caught up on what's going on with your person in this third party and to explore your options. Tell me more, spirit. Explore your options and, you know, if you if you feel like you're the one who has a block, a uh, um, um, uh, a blocked heart heart chakra your heart space is closed off you need to go into you need to do some type of yoga or meditation you can find all of that on youtube heart chakra yoga heart chakra meditation there's actually different mantras that you can chat while you're meditating that'll open up your open up and activate your heart chakra that's what i'm hearing that you should do tell me more spirit tell me more spirit take them because i don't like how they came out <laughs> bootleg version trying to find you and other people so your person is not having a good time right now <laughs> this person is probably a knockoff version of, yeah trying <laughs> okay so boom this is what i'm hearing right <laughs> This person might be trying to find you and other people and they keep getting the fucking bootleg version of you. Like, <laughs> like maybe this was the whole thing. Like, okay, something happened. Like maybe y'all had a disagreement or something or something. And this person, you know, tried to blame you. Like you're the reason why they broke up. You're the reason why I went off here to do whatever. And I'm hearing pride and ego is what just make this person you know, decide that they're going to stand on a decision to go F with whoever the hell they decide to F with. But the reality of the situation is they love you and they're trying to find you again through other, through, through somebody else. And they're getting a whole fucking bootleg version and somebody they can't even trust. That's why spirit is saying, just explore your options. Cause this motherfucker is, cause your person tripping, <laughs> your person motherfucking tripping. <laughs> <laughs> picture somebody trying to find trying to find something better than you and they keep getting a knockoff version <laughs> they try and get the real louis bag they keep getting the fake louis bag made in china <laughs> bye try again anyway tell me more spirit <laughs> tell me more spirit for group number two this is funny Talk about plot twists. Tell me more spirit for group number two. What else do they need to hear at this time? 
See, I didn't even know this was going good. I mean, I guess this is. There's a lot of love going on here, so. Tell me more for group number two, Spirit. Is the deck quiet? Do I need to move forward? What's going on? Let me see. Well, let me get this together, y'all. More for group number two, Spirit. Tell me more for group number two. Divine Feminine. Ooh. So I'm hearing you're a divine feminine. You are this person's divine feminine. Right. They just ain't they just ain't getting in getting in the fuck together. Mm. 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 Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, it was my fault, but I blamed you. You blamed your divine feminine. Meanwhile, back at the fucking ranch. They over there trying to find it. You can't, there, you only have one divine fucking feminine. If this is a past life relationship, you only got one divine feminine. So they're trying, he's trying to find, I'm sorry, I, this is just what I'm, I'm flipping switch the roles as they apply to your situation. I'm saying like he, he may be a she, she may be a he. So I'm just going to read, I'm going to read the energy the way I feel like I'm getting it, but flipping switch the roles as they apply to your situation. I can say she, and I may mean he, he, maybe she just flip it. However, it needs to fit to your situation, but there is only the one, there is only one divine feminine. So this person is calling themselves out of, out of pride and ego because it was their, because deep down inside it was their fault. See, because it says it was my fault, but I blamed you. This is a person who is a little bit immature. They have a lot of pride and ego, so they don't like to admit when they're wrong. So they blamed you for whatever has caused this separation, right? Now they're trying to sit there and stand on to save face. It's like, okay, I got to own my decision. You know, it, it's it's their fault. I got to make it seem like it's their fault. If I come back, if I try to come back for my person, if I try to come back for my person, then I would be admitting that maybe it, would, it actually was my fault. But I And I blame them and they're not ready to do that right now. Because they're in a very low vibrational energy. So they're calling themselves trying to find another divine feminine. You only have one divine feminine. <laughs> and they keep getting fucking bootleg versions. Like, and it's going to keep being that way. Once you meet a divine feminine, it's not like other feminines are not going. You meet your divine feminine. You meet your divine counterpart. Other counterparts are not going to be able to fill that space. They may make your ego self feel good, but your divine feminine is going to feed your soul. Nobody else is going to be able to do that. But anyway, we also got spiritual awakening that flew out as well. And what I'm hearing is um, that is what your person, your person needs to go. Maybe this is something you both need to do. Um, but your person is needing to go through a spiritual awakening. And I feel like what, like I said, this is a karmic cycle that they're in right now. They're completing a karmic cycle with this third party, but whatever that goes on over here is going to activate a spiritual awakening in your person. And actually that is a beautiful thing, but mind you, a spiritual awakening can be a very long process because there is different stages of a spiritual awakening. You go through ego deaths, you go through dark nights of the soul, you go through the the the, the times that feel really amazing and then the lower times. So it's a process. And as far as the spiritual awakening, it goes as fast as far as the stages because I've actually broke it down. I think there's like six different stages of a spiritual awakening. But um, it goes... As far as the speed of how fast you get through these stages is based off of surrender. So if you are fighting the process, it prolongs the process. And this is why spirit wants you to explore options because this can take some time. This can take some time. Okay. So do not hold your life up waiting for this person. Okay. All right, tell me more spirit for this, um, for group number two. Tell me more for group two. I think I'm going to stop this in a second, but and I mean this uh, particular deck is I think. Tell me more for group number two spirit. Mm. 
You don't just take it. Whatever. It says moon magic. Yeah, this bitch. This third party is trying it. They're missing you like hell, though. So moon magic came out. Dark magic, moon magic came out. So I, I'm hearing when there's certain moon cycles that are happening. Uh, whoever this third party is, they're really doing a lot. So, I'm hearing causing delays in this process. Even maybe possibly causing delays and they're your person coming to a spiritual awakening. Um, yeah, they fucked up. And they messed with the wrong person. But you know what? I do believe everything happens for a particular reason. So, maybe there is something that this person is supposed... This is absolutely... A, this third party is a karmic... There is something that your person is supposed to learn through this person. Maybe there's something that they weren't able, they, they weren't. And you know what? What's so fucked up is there are certain lessons that your counterpart may not be able to learn with you as a divine being. Some like certain lessons can only be taught by a karmic. If you're not in a dark energy, there's certain lessons that you just can't teach your person. And clearly there was something that they have not woken up to or been had um, that they weren't able to uh, come to terms with on their own. So this karmic had to come in and shake things up so that they can see this for themselves. Unfortunately, it's going to have to happen in some really fucked up tower moments and bad situations for this person to, to, to you know, to be awakened. But they're missing you. They're, I mean, obviously they're missing you. They're trying to find you and other people. That's a, a big ass form of somebody missing you. Damn. But spirit is saying, you know, just focus on your healing. Focus on your journey. All right, tell me more, spirit. Y'all, y'all would be surprised how many people really get into dark magic. Like, this shit is not as far-fetched as some people think. Yo, people really get into this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Putting stuff in past life soulmate. This is your past life soulmate. Aw. Aw. So, yeah, this hasn't been easy for you. It's probably been, and you probably are the one with the, you you, pro, you you guys probably both have a block heart chakra, chakra right now. Like, even if this person, if you're getting in your head thinking like, wow, does, does this person love them like they love me? Absolutely not. Their heart, their, their heart, their heart space is too closed off to be able to feel for anybody else. <laughs> like, honestly. Their heart space is too closed off, so they're not connecting with anybody. These are very surface level um, connections. It will never be what you two share. So if you're if you're letting yourself get in your head about that, don't. But this has not been easy for you. Because this is somebody that you've loved for multiple lifetimes. This ain't your first time loving this person. Maybe not. See, here's the thing, right? Our souls are old. Sometimes our souls can be old as shit. Like you may be an avatar body, your avatar body may be 30 years old, but your soul could have been here since fucking ancient Egypt time. So I'm hearing you've loved this person for many of lifetimes. Oh, yeah. So this shit's not easy. I've been in this before, so I know it ain't easy. <laughs> I know it ain't easy. And I've actually finally got to the point where exploring options is 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 exciting. I like I love the I I love it. <laughs> I love the freedom. I love the, you know, I mean, I'm just saying. Tell me more spirit for group number two. More for group two. Soulmate, golly. So, we can have multiple soulmates. So, I am hearing, this may be for some, and this may be for a small group of people that chose the clear courts, that in this process of exploring options, you may come across your soulmate. And I got karmic in here. I got all types of shit. The soulmate is like... <laughs> What's what's which what wants to come out? So I'm hearing while you're exploring your options, you may come across a soulmate that's gonna make this time like if you decide now, mind you, we all have free will. You don't have to be with your person. You don't have to wait for your person because clearly what what has transpired is their fault. 
You don't have to wait for shit. For this person to get through whatever and go through this karmic cycle and go through a spiritual awakening that may take forever. Like, you don't have to wait for them. You can choose to fulfill your soul's mission with somebody completely different. And that's what I'm hearing with this soulmate card. So, um, you know, you can make the decision to fulfill your soul's mission with somebody else completely. It don't got to be with this person. for group two spirit tell me more for group two i'm getting sleepy i just keep hearing uh kevin gates i don't get i don't get tired i got six jobs i don't get tired <laughs> girl i can't stop thinking about you i bet asshole so, and I, ain't go, I can't even say that because I feel like everything happens for a reason. So, in certain situations, I've had to learn how to be more graceful or gentle with these processes because um, certain people have to go through certain lessons and certain people can't learn it the easy, loving way by just having a divine feminine or a divine counterpart that can help help you or maybe guide you through certain things. Some people have to learn it some like you know the harder way, so... That's what's going on with your person. Anything else for group two? This is getting kind of long. I might have to wrap it up. Yeah, I'm stopping. It's, I'm done with this deck. I'm going to um, just do a little message to close it out. See what spirit wants y'all to know to close the reading out for group two. Because this has kind of been, I think it's been dragging. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's been my, almost a half an hour because y'all came in at 27 26 and it's 57 minutes in. So, yeah, let me wrap it up so I could get on a group three. But let's just see Divine Spirit, God's Angels, Ancestors, Cosmic Family of the Brightest Love, Light, Healing, Prosperity, and Protection. What is it that group two needs to hear the most at this time to close out the reading? I decided to use my um, African Goddess Rising deck for the advice. Love this deck. Love this deck. Absolutely love this deck. So, Let's see what's going on. Okay. All right. Group two. We have Rage, Medusa. I know y'all heard of Medusa. That's why I love this African Goddess Rising deck because there's certain goddesses like I've never heard of, but then somehow I'll come across like, oh, that name's familiar. But this is what's so dope. It's gonna give you the backstory because like some of us, we may know of these names on some, we heard about it, or maybe you're somebody who actually has looked into these things. Um, but yeah, it'll give you like the backstory of the goddess and then it will tell you what their advice is to you. So I think this is just such a dope ass deck of cards, man. I love it. And the author, um, Abiola Abrams, she just gives them a voice and I, I love that. It's just so dope. Um, but let's go to Medusa. Five, 5 a.m. And I am a little sleepy, 46. <laughs> Okay, let's see. All right, so um, Medusa, shadow of rage. Temple is shadows or element is fire. Medusa is feared as an ugly, vis vicious monster bitch. The truth is the Libyan Berber dark goddess of wisdom rage is sacred, epic, and fully justified. Medusa shadows guidance to you. It says you are pissed off and petrified, angry and shaking. But underneath that, you are hurt and heartbroken. Feeling undervalued is overwhelming. You can't stay silent anymore. Let your joys, hopes, and beauty rage on. Take a breath, close your eyes, and put both hands over your lower abdomen. 
that's your sacral chakra area. That is where we store a lot of our trauma, our hurt, and our pain. Group number two, um, this has caused you a great deal of heartbreak, a great deal of pain having to deal with this. Um, what may feel like, what feels like to you a betrayal from your past, from your past life soulmate. You know, you really feel betrayed on a deeper level. And I'm hearing that you have a lot of built up anger in, 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 in you, you're angry. But underneath that anger is hurt that needs to be released. And, um, you know, your sacral chakra, rather you be man or f man or woman, your sacral chakra is where you is where we hold a lot of our trauma. So you need to do some look into some type of sacral chakra meditation. Sacral chakra yoga would be really beneficial. Some type of hip opening exercises to help open up that space. And relieve those emotions. There is a lot of stored. I'm just. I can feel it. I can hear it. There's a lot of stored trauma in those areas. And you need to release it. Alright. Let's finish the message. Alright. So it says. Take a breath. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. And put both hands over your lower, lower abdomen. Tune into the part of you that feels out of control. Flood it with loving, healing, golden light. Now put both hands over your heart and do the same. And it's so funny that this that, that comes up because we have blocked heart chakra. Now put both hands over your heart and do the same. You have a right to your full range of emotions, including anger. Sacred rage inspires us to run for office, lead protests, and shift policies. But underneath rage can devour, but oh excuse me, but unhealthy rage can devour your very soul. Oh. Get clear on what is really happening. Allow yourself to feel your feelings, to see the truth. Just because you feel threatened does not mean you are being threatened. God is declaration. I have a right to feel my feelings. I feel like this is such a beautiful place to leave off. Um, Group two, if this has resonated with you, please just like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And it's just a beautiful way to energetically donate back to my channel. And like I said, it's so appreciated. But in